Good morning. It's Pants from Pants Crochet Creations. So, today I wrote a list and I have um, lots to talk about. And I don't know if you guys realize it, but I get so nervous about going on camera that I sit here and I look at the camera and I leave it on video for a good 5 to 10 minutes before I even hit record that it's weird I, I don't know why I do it I just do it um, but anyways I have a lot to talk about today um, I realized that I haven't made many videos um, I'm, let me shut off this light I think that's better lighting put a little bit of light on um, uh, I haven't made much videos. In fact, this is only crochet chat number seven, and I've been doing YouTube for a few months now. Um, I'm going to try to do one a week. I keep saying that, but you, you don't realize how busy my life is. I have between kids and work and everything else, and then I don't want to do a video if I don't have anything, no works in progress, or if I have nothing done, or... I don't know. If you guys just want to see me check in once in a while, maybe write me a little comment or something. I don't I don't know what you guys want to see. I I don't know. Just give me give me some clues as to what I can videotape. I I don't know. Videotape like I'm in the 1980s <laughs> what I can record. Um uh okay, so let's get started. Um first of all, my last video, somebody asked if they could see the Batman blanket in person. I don't know why, but I have the Batman blanket. I can show you right now. I'm going to show you. Uh, see which way this goes. See, that's the Batman blanket. It's really, 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 really big starts here and then up so there's the Batman blanket um so now that we got that out of the way um the Batman blanket took me two weeks to do uh, a lot of squares, 270 squares to do. I'm working on another blanket, but I can't tell you what it is because it's a surprise for my son and he watches my videos. So I can't, I can't tell you what it is. So eventually it'll be done. I've been working on it for months now. All the squares are done. I just haven't sewn it together. I just got lazy. Honestly, that's all there is. I have a list here of what I want to talk about today. I never write a list. I usually just go by the skin of my teeth, but guess I just wrote a list today. Okay, like I said, this is crochet chat number seven. Um, name of it is hats, hats, and more hats. A lot of these hats you've already seen, but I, I showed you in pictures. I'm going to show you in person now um, because craft fair is coming up on the 16th of November. So I wanted to show you what I'm taking to the craft fair so far. I have a lot more going to the craft fair, but this is not just it. This is what the hats are going. Um, today's October 30th, 2019, and tomorrow is Halloween. One of my favorite, favorite holidays. Not that it matters this year, and I'll tell you that. I'll tell you why. Because my kids said they're old enough to stop trick-or-treating. I don't think you're ever too old to stop trick-or-treating, but my youngest is turning 13, and they're just too old. So, this Saturday, I'm having a Halloween party for all the kids, and they're going to dress up, and well, I, I have my Halloween costume, which I went to a Halloween party last week. I waited 10 years to go to this Halloween party. Every year I had to work, every year, 10 years since I've been best friends with my best friend and it's her family's party an eyelash or something in my eye um so every year i've waited to go to this halloween party and let me tell you it was totally worth it it was a blast i had a blast my daughter didn't have so much fun because she was the only 18 year old there but 
because it was 18 and older. But I had a blast. I had a blast. Um, I'm going to show you my Halloween costume in a few minutes. I completely crocheted the entire thing. Nothing was uncrocheted. Nothing was bought. Nothing was, like I said, uncrocheted. I, I don't even know if that's a word, uncrocheted. Um, so, my Halloween party is this Saturday. And all my kids have their costumes, except for my little one. He couldn't decide until the last minute what he wanted to be. So, of course, I have to go out last minute shopping tomorrow and get him his costume. And he has to be the difficult one. You know why? Because he's the redhead. And the redhead always has to be the difficult one. Uh, I don't know. So, let's get started. Well, we already are started, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so, my Halloween costume... I don't know if a lot of you remember, but in the 1980s, there was a cartoon called Rainbow Bright. And Rainbow Bright was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cartoons. And I loved her so much that I made the costume. I wanted to buy the costume online and go as her. Now, money got tight. I couldn't afford the costume. It was 80 bucks. Now, you guys notice I'm a big girl. Big girl costumes cost a lot of money. I'm not a tiny girl. I I can't I can't fit into those tiny girl costumes, so it's not happening. So, um, I bought. I mean, I two days before the Halloween party, I said to my best friend Dawn, I said, you know what? I'm gonna crochet my own Halloween costume because I didn't have the money to buy one. I, I'm not ashamed to say it. I just didn't have the money to buy one. And two days on Thursday, the party was on Saturday. In two days, I crocheted my own Halloween costume. The only thing I got help with was the leg warmers by my sister-in-law. And that's the only, and I thank her very much. But the only thing I got help with was that. But everything else I did myself. Now, I think that's pretty freaking amazing that I did it in two days. Now, let's show you. Without further ado, we got the wrist warmers. Everything was made in Red Heart Super Saver. I'm not going to go over all the colors because obviously they're pretty explanatory. And then I took a tank top. I took one of my tank tops and I crocheted on the strap because I wasn't crocheting a whole shirt. That just was not happening. I'm sorry, my cat and my dog are fighting. And I crocheted right here on the, on the strap. There's a tank top. I don't know what got all over it, but probably cat hair. And then we have the leg warmers, which look pretty big, but I tied them on. They go like this. There's one. There's two. And then I have the skirt, which looks pretty big, but like I said, I'm a big girl. It goes like this. And it has a star on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has a star on it. And then the wig is amazing. That's what I was amazed about that I did. Let me straighten it out before I show you. The wig. See, you got the bangs. And then you got the ponytail. Now. I'm going to show you guys a picture of Rainbow Bright so you can get comparison. Because those of you who are really young don't know who she is. So that is my Halloween costume. I'm going to pull up a picture of her to show you on my phone. So here's a picture of me wearing it. That's a picture of me wearing it. And here's a picture of her. 
See? Pretty close. Pretty close. I'm freaking amazing. There's a lot of amazing, amazing crocheters out there. But I I can't say I'm as amazing as her. Like, like the one who crochets her kids' costumes. I think she's amazing. But me? That would... I, I think it's awesome. Um... This is the me with the wig on. Let's see if we can get the full effect. There we go. That was me with the wig on. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is hats. Obviously, we're going to talk about hats, hats, and more hats. And we already talked about kids not trick-or-treating. Now... Let's go with, hmm, we're going to go with my zebra hat first. Nope, panda hat. Got panda hat. All of these hats are made of Red Heart Super Saver because Red Heart Super Saver is my favorite, favorite, favorite yarn. Um, obviously black, white, black, white. And I did pom-poms for the, for the ears. These are kids' hats. Last year, when I went to the craft fair, I was I was selling hats, and they were too big, and I didn't know how to make kids' hats. So this year, I talked to Elizabeth over at Crafty Crocheter, who is a very good friend of mine now, and she showed me how to make, well, not showed me, but told me how to make the shape of the kids' hats. I finally got it down, and now I hope my hats sell, because last year they didn't sell. Now, I have a question for you. I, I posted it on my crochet groups. How much do you sell your hats for if you sell hats? Because I am, I basically live in an in a area where not a lot of people have a lot of money. So, my hats, I wanted $20 for them, but they're not selling for $20. So, I was thinking about going down to either 15 or 10 I really don't want to go down that far, but they're not selling either. So, what do you think? Leave your opinion in the comment box. Um, all my hats, I do not have links for all of them, but they were all free on the web. Um, they are not my patterns, so I'm not taking credit for them. I did find them all on the web, but I'm not going to sit here and find every one of them back on the web again. So, I cannot link them. Yeah, itchy nose again. Um, so, where's that coming from? In there. Um, I got a pig hat. I do not like the snout. Do not. I have a little string here that I have to get rid of. Um, I do not like the snout of this one. Then I have a Beetlejuice hat. This one is a little big because I made this for a customer. She wanted two Beetlejuice hats and matching hats, but then she wanted the stripes closer together. So she wanted, instead of four rows a piece, she wanted two rows a piece. So I had to redo the hats. So now I have an extra hat. So this one, pom-poms at the bottom, pom-pom at the top. I love making pom-poms. I love hats with pom-poms. I think they're very cute. Then, a Paw Patrol, Marshall, I, I guess. I don't have little kids no more, so I don't know who these guys are. I know who Elmo is, though. I have Elmo. Elmo's too freaking cute. Too cute. Um, this is my gay pride hat. My rainbow hat. It's got a mohawk on it. A couple years ago, I used to make nothing but mohawk hats. When I first started making hats, I made nothing but mohawk hats. So, his mohawk, this mohawk is so crooked. But, if I didn't point that out, you probably couldn't even see it. But, yeah. Yes, I like this hat. Then I have a koala. Pom-poms again. Love pom-poms for the ears. And then I have a zebra hat. Again, 
Walk. I did not put a face on this hat. I don't know. I didn't think it would look good with a face. So I didn't put a face on this hat. Do you think it looked good with a face? Let me know. Let, let me know. A puppy. Dalmatian. Got all this lint coming off these hats. Move those out of the camera way. This one is amazing. I love this one. This one's going to a customer. It's a dinosaur hat. Triceratops. Got the little things here. Got a baby shark hat. I don't like this one that much. Oh, I don't like Baby Shark. Another Paw Patrol hat. This is Sky from Paw Patrol. And last but not least, I have to finish this this part. A Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. That's all my hats. Let me just put them back real quick. Bear with me for a moment. Okay. Oh, no. One more. A mini, 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 mini baby minion hat. I think it's for like three to six months. What a big eye. I think that's it. Okay. So we talked about hats. We talked about... Um, let's talk about my work in progress. Progress. I have one work in progress, except for the surprise blanket, but one work in progress. Pretty pathetic, huh? But yeah. You know why? Because I finish everything so quickly. Um, I don't know. Duncan, breakfast of champions. Always have to have my Duncan. Coffee in the morning. No breakfast, just coffee. So, I have a blanket that I'm making for a customer. And she wanted a baby blanket. She wanted the colors pink and cream. And uh, let me just get it out for you. Because I don't want to pull my stitches out. And I did it in the virus shawl. I mean, not the virus shawl. The virus blanket stitch. So, oh, we got a lot of strings on that side. We'll do this side. So, so we got that. That has to be done by tomorrow. That's almost done. So I have to get that done by tomorrow. But I go to work tonight. And my job is pretty well, pretty easy. Everybody sleeps all night. So basically I'll just get that done all night. Um, then I have... My spider, which Ella of No Catchy Name, she, I don't know why, but my spiders and my octopi keep coming out, keep coming out really, really weirdly, but his eyes are like really weird, but green spider, and see, I use the smaller hook on the stitches, but the stitches it's still sticking out right here. So this will not be going to the craft fair. This is the toy for the house because I messed up on it. But I'm going to make another one. And then I have, I posted in Blue Cherubs groups, group, um, Kim's group, and I asked about a octopus pattern. And she said to go to Rel of... Oh, dabbling hook and I really liked her pattern and but the thing is is my octopus came out awkward again but okay okay it's not awkward it's just really big and I used a smaller hook so 
I miscounted with the stitches that you have to go in the back stitch with, so I had to squeeze another leg in there. So it looks really weird. That will not be going to the craft fair either. That's just for me. That's just for me. And then I have another octopus that I made from a different pattern. Um, one that I found on the web. But I didn't really like it because you had to take, you had to do the legs separate and then you had to sew them on and it was just really a pain in the butt. But see the legs? They just dangle too much. I don't like them that much. They're just too big. Unless I sew them like this. Sew them like this and then it'd be like that. Okay, so we talked about that. <laughs> So, why is it that no matter how many times you wake up your kids in the morning, they still go back to sleep? Um, the last couple of days I've had off, and the last couple of days I've had to wake my kids up multiple, multiple times to get ready for school. And every single morning I have to fight with them to get ready for school. And every single morning they're late for, well, they're not late for school. They're just running late. That's the problem. They're running late. It's really annoying. Okay. So, another thing I want to talk about is my son, my 22-year-old son, redid his truck. Um, he has two trucks. And he redid one of his trucks in white. And then he put red all over it to look like he hit somebody for blood for Halloween. And he put a skeleton on the front of it, which is really awesome. Let me see if I can find it. But while I do that, I'm going to talk to you guys. Um, no, that's not it. That's not it either. Uh, um, so, while he did that... Okay. This is what he did. Okay, I'm gonna try to. Can you see it? Oh. I'm trying to get the glare off of it. Anyways, it's red and it's... there it goes a little bit better. So he's got a skeleton on the front of it. So, he redid one of his trucks. Now, the other truck, he had, um, he had a skeleton on the top of it. Well, he came to me and said the skeleton's feet was scratching up the top of his truck. So, he needed booties made for his skeleton. Yes, booties made for the skeleton. Which I thought was crazy weird. But... I made him booties for the skeleton. Then I said, I was joking around and I said, do you need a hat to match the skeleton's booties? And he said, yeah, why not? So I made him a hat to match the skeleton's booties. So I made him the hat and I made him the, the, the booties and everything. And this is what it looks like on the top of the truck, a hat. And booties to match. I think it's freaking hilarious. Now, he came to me two days ago and told me the hat flew off on the highway. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't stop to get the hat because it's a highway. So I made him a new hat, but it's got devil horns on it. I haven't taken a picture of it, but I will take a picture of it for my next video. Um, um, it just... It's... A really really cool thing I I'm so proud of him I, I really like it um, so talked about that we talked about the craft fair the craft fair is coming up 11 16 and I have basically just hats to sell <sighs> I really have nothing really so I have to work my butt off the next two weeks to get a lot of stuff for the craft fair um, Future projects, not much. I want to make a couple stuffies. I want to make 
amigurumis. I call them stuffies. Um, I want to make a monkey. I don't know what color I want to make my monkey. I was sitting here debating this morning whether I want to make it brown, traditional, or if I want to make it hot pink. Um, the pattern by Jess Huff. It's free. Um, or if I want to make a purple one or a blue one or whatever. I don't know. I haven't decided. So, anyways, that's the end of my list. It's the end of my list of what I'm going to talk about. So I guess I'll let you guys go. Um, until next time. I'll talk to you later. Happy hooking. Happy crocheting. All that happy horse crap. <laughs> Alright, talk to you later. Bye.